Hello and welcome to my first presentation of 2017. Today I'm going to talk about Amazon Simple Queue service and write a .NET C# -sharp application to send a message to a queue in SQS. Our agenda is to send a message to AWS SQS queue. We are going to first configure AWS that is use the AWS console to create a queue and create a user with appropriate permissions and then we are going to use that user's profile and write some C# -sharp code to create a message and send that message to AWS SQS queue. There are a couple of ways in which you can use Amazon SDK in your Visual Studio solution. So as of now I have the Visual Studio solution open here and I'm going to write code to a console application but to install AWS SDK you can either use the MSI file which is available on Amazon you just need to type AWS SDK for .NET and you will get to a page which will give you that option. The second option which is recommended is the option of using the NuGet package manager. If you don't see that in your Visual Studio instance, click Tools, NuGet package manager and package manager console. And once the console shows up, just type this command install package AWS SDK.SQS click enter and it's going to install whatever needs to be installed to your solution and it knows all the dependencies so if I go to the references in the project now I got AWS SDK core and SQS here my solution is now ready to use AWS SDK for .NET so here I am logged on to my AWS console and here under messaging I have SQS available to me simple queue service I'm going to click on that I don't have any queues created here so I'm going to create one now but the application program or the SDK allows you to create new queues as well and we'll see example of that but for this demo we are not going to create one programmatically we are going to type one here I'm just going to call this demo queue and I'm going to leave the defaults here there's plenty of useful information and help there on how long does the queue stay in the queue and visibility and retention I'm just going to click create queue and my queue is ready please note that the URL of the queue is important this is what we are going to use in our program and there is also an ARN which is going to be extremely useful if we want to use a user profile that stands for Amazon resource name but we're not going to use this for the queue we're just going to use the URL so once we have the queue ready other thing what I want to do is I want to go to identity and access management which is available here under security identity and compliance and I'm going to click IAM and I'm just going to create a group first which will have the name SQS admin to create this new group actually I need to type here SQS admin click next step and then I'm going to attach a policy to this group oops need to go previous I'm going to give it SQS full access next and my group is ready so create group and then I'm going to create a user click add user call it demo user and I'm just going to give this guy programmatic access so it has an access key and a secret access key this is very very important access key and secret access key are both needed to be able to make calls to the AWS API I'm going to click next and I'm going to add this user to this group 
and next review and click create user and my user is ready now this guy has got an access key and a secret access key this access key thus the secret access key will be visible to you just once this is something you should put in a safe place and not share with anybody I'm going to delete this demo user after recording this video but in general you, sh you will need both access key ID and secret access key so to connect to this queue and send a message we are going to need the URL of the queue the user key ID access key ID and the secret access key so now if we go back to SQS we have our demo queue ready so this is my sqs.net solution and I got one console project here so before I get into this code let's recap what we have done so far so we have configured AWS by creating a queue there and we have a user created there the user is called demo user the queue is called demo queue and we have these two components ready to receive messages and we are going to use demo user profile to send messages to that message queue so the first thing we need to look at is app config for pretty much any kind of AWS application we need to have these two things there the AWS profile name which in our case is going to be the demo user and the key AWS region is US West 1 which is where the queue is created this is an optional parameter but this is something I'm going to use because I'm not using the SDK which gives me a GUI tool to create this basically I have a profile file that I need to reference here this profile file is in C demo profile info.txt so let me show you that file this is the file and in the file I have the demo user profile name keep in mind this is case sensitive so demo user is the profile and it's got its access key and secret access key so this is what the application is going to reference to send a message to the queue in the code this is a console app main program so I create SQS client and I'll post this entire code in my blog I have a couple of imports in the beginning Amazon SQS and Amazon SQS model and the first line of code is creating the client then creating the request and then the message request queue URL is going to be https colon slash slash sqs us west one dot amazon aws dot com forward slash your amazon account number and followed by the queue name which is demo queue the message we are going to log to the queue is called this is a text just a text string and then the next line we just send the message and we put a console dot read line to make sure the console window does not close so if I run this application looks like everything ran fine I did not get an exception so I'm going to go back and take a look at the queue now so this is my queue and if I click queue actions view delete messages you will notice that I got my message this is a test so this proves that our program worked and it's a pretty straightforward process to create messages in message queue I'm going to go back and show few other methods on that SQS client so if we take a look at this code again um, there's quite a few very important methods on the client object so I'm just going to
So if we go back and look at the client, we're not going to complete the code here, but SQS client has got quite a few very important messages and they are very intuitive. Create queue and it accepts a queue name. Then we got delete queue, which also accepts a queue URL. or delete request. So all these methods are here. We also have a read message or receive message and then you can specify a queue URL there or receive message request. So it's very intuitive to use this client class to get a lot of information. Pretty much anything that you can do with a queue you can do with SQS client object. Thanks for watching this video, hope you liked it. I'm going to post the entire source code of this video on my blog and I hope to see you again in another video. Thanks.